every homeowner has to get two to four different permits before they can install a seawall. So the first is federal, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The second is state, Department of Environmental Protection. The third is the county. And fourth is municipalities. That's most local. It can be your city, your town, um, or even your village. The entire permitting process takes much longer than the installation. So it can be as little as three months and as long as two years, unfortunately, in places like Miami, where we're based. Because the permit process is time-consuming and also complex, the first step to installing a seawall for a homeowner is usually hiring a permitting and design company. So those types of companies, they have in-house uh, engineers and also environmental consultants. And the first step for them is to come and do a site visit. So they will come to your house or to your building and they will assess um, the current conditions. And next, they will ask you to order a survey. So a survey costs about $2,500. Their surveyor will come to your place for an hour and they should have the survey done in a couple weeks. Then the permitter will use the survey to put together the scope of work. Once you approve it, they will get to work putting together the seawall plans and all the drawings and then submitting them simultaneously to the federal, the state, the county, and the municipal offices. The federal, state, and county offices look at all the environmental aspects of the projects while the city looks at the structural and zoning components and actually gives you the building permit. The permitter can also help you bid the project. So kind of governments, they bid out construction jobs. The permitter can help you do the same. Um, they will share the plans and contractors will compete for your business based on those plans and by submitting uh, different quotes for you. And the permitter can help you choose the best local contractor. I hope that helps. Good luck.